You can bet in a heartbeat that I make quality videos. Hey everyone, my name is Bettina and we're in MTT Hotel seeing what all the staff and guests have to say. Sorry, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Yep. Hey guys, you still trapped? Good news! The elevator started working again! But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. Aww. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. How are you, slime person? As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Is the elevator? Okay, the elevator is in use. I see. So, I can talk to Burger Pants. What can I do for you, little buddy? Freedom. So, we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much! <laughs> Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. Freedom? Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in getting... in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Yep, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the health and items I needed to get through Metaton's fight. So you've got that going for you, so thank you, Burger Pants. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <coughs> qualifications. It won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. That's true. Now I know um, when you talk about Caddy and Braddy, before you go to the surface, you can arrange a hang out with them if you keep going back and forth between them. Caddy will actually think that this guy is pretty cute. So... I, I wish I could have done that if I'd only known about the secret, but oh well. Anytime, little buddy. <laughs> and I guess they're these people. No response. It's locked from the inside. Room service never came. <sighs> no response. Trying to finish up work. And I heard you can also go over here? Learning how to draw? Come to the art lessons on the second floor. Located in a similar place. Oh, this told us about art lessons. I heard that, I mean, I've seen videos of people playing um, The Secret in Hotland where you meet a character named So Sorry. And he's got a little art uh, artist's beret, and you fight him. And that's where the song Wrong Enemy in the soundtrack of Undertale comes from. That's when you fight him. And he's got his own mercy and pacifist path to... Uh, mercy and genocide path to him if you kill him and stuff. But that's what the art lessons are talking about. And I think you can only get it if it's a certain day at a certain time. So you have to play with your clock settings to get it so you meet him. So that's pretty cool. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. That's okay. Oh, that's the core. Um, I want to see the restaurant to see what these guys have to say. Blub blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Ha! Double meaning. So, if we're leaving, will my job... Ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core. 
Good joke, buddy. The surface world? Really? Maybe I'll be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. Yep. I see there's no more chairs. Were there ever any chairs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. Oh, you can be free. Just get out of here. Oh, well. Without reservations. That was a good pun. So now all I have to do is get through the core. And I guess there's no monsters that I want to see again in the core, so I'm just gonna go up and keep going. And I'm gonna meet the other monsters, and I wonder if they say anything if I talk to them now that I've taken my long walk, which was about three episodes worth of getting here. Although, I wonder what happens if I were to go through, um, new home again. Well, I don't know if I'll do that. I'll just get right to the point. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, because that involved a lot of walking. Um, uh, sorry. Judgment Hall. Doo -doo. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? Hey. Oh, I completely forgot about calling Papyrus and Toriel. Um, seeing how many good friends you've made here, I'm almost certain you must have made some more. I already took my walk, but I'm just gonna hang out here, and maybe I'll get the secret texts that, um, Toriel had been sending me. Noticed you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, sorry, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Hee <laughs> hee. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me, smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. Oh, that's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. Oh. So I'm not gonna receive them all here? Oh, no response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Hmm. Okay. Toriel has not sent any more messages. Are you saying that I have to go all the way back through the underground to get Toriel's messages? Okay, if that's what it takes. I don't want this game to end! I just want to receive all her texts. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, How are you? You have been wandering for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding, lol. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. Impossible. So if I talk to her, I haven't sent any more messages. Okay. So does it count if I go into this room with the different, um... Oh wait, can I call now? She sent me a message, yes. Excuse me. I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to write sincerely. That's with an extra E at the end. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Good idea. Yep. The coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing more to that. I see. So this means that someone had been in it before I did. So that was where Toby or Kara was um, buried. And then I guess Toriel took them and actually put them under those flowers that Asriel was in. 
Let me call Toriel and see what she has to say now. Toriel sends you a message. Sans will be typing from now on. Okay. So, can I do this? Yes, I can switch between the rooms! Cheat! Hey, Frisk. It's Toriel. I just baked a million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. Yeah, I don't have to wander the underground. I did not say any of that. See he. Toriel sent you a message. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> I'm gonna go up so I can switch between those two rooms and not walk all the way. Okay. Toriel sent you a message. This is Sans. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and. Ha! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Funny. You guys are freaking adorable. Okay. So if I switch between the throne room and there, Toriel sent you a message titled Cat Video? Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch it. Toriel sent you a message. Send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. See. <laughs> Send you a message. Dear Frisk, thought you might enjoy this. Hee <laughs> hee. It's ASCII art of a snail. Nice. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. No, Sans. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. Some what? Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. L LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Haha. <laughs> That's another clue that she is not going to get together again with Asgore. She and, As she and Sans are going to start a band without any music. Terrell sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Is that true? Terrell sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Alfie's is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a, f quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? No. I can see you put everything down. What happens if I try and call you here? Terrell sent you a message. Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. <laughs> I don't know what that says about people who are playing the game, though, like me. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer because I make videos. And watch videos. So there's that. And you can talk to me when, I guess, I'm in the same room as you. So there's that. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. So is that all? Toriel has not sent any more messages. Yep, that's all. So now I don't have to walk all the way back from the end, which is great. Do you guys say anything more? How about you go look? Nope. Okay. Did you say anything? Okay. Okay. Same thing as normal. So, I guess you're gonna say take a hike? Yep. Hmm. Alright. Well, I didn't want this moment to come, but 
I guess we're ready to leave the surface. I discovered all the secrets that I could. I didn't walk through the entire underground, but that would have taken much too long. And I've already spent two episodes doing that, so we're gonna go to the surface. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. I know that. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Everyone's gonna follow me out. <sighs> and there's the sunset. Or is it a sunrise? Oh my! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow! It's even better than on TV! Way better! Better than I ever imagined! Frisk! You live with this? The sunlight is so nice! And the air is so fresh! I really feel alive! Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Itchy nose. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Sure. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! I wonder what happens when you say don't be the ambassador, though. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! Maybe if you don't be the am if you decide not to be the ambassador, then Papyrus will be because he wants to be friendly with everyone. I'll go make a good first impression! Eh. Welp. Someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. That's the wrong way, Sans! Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! <laughs> um, whoops. Um, should I do something? Hmm? Terrell's not having any of it. Uh, well, gotta go. Yeah, a little slow on the uptake there, Asgor. <sighs> it seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Yep. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So, you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? In my perfect headcanon, I want Frisk to stay with the monsters forever. What? Frisk! You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> Well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. So I guess I walk with Toriel back to the human village or city or anything. And that's Undertale. And I get to see the cast. Hello? Oh, okay. Now it rolls. Froggit by Toby. Wimson by Toby. 
He's a professional frog, and he's braver every day. Mold Small by Toby, and Te Luke's is by Temmie. He's a backup dancer, and he's a reformed bully. Vegetoid is a popular nutritionist, and My Gosp is casually enjoys life. So I guess Toby and Temmie did a lot of stuff. Napster Blue is a spooky DJ. And you can see that Papyrus and um, Toby and Temmie designed Papyrus. And the, de the determined bird is flying. Sans is all Toby. And he's got a little trike. Special inspiration by J.N. Weedle. I forget what he did. I guess he made another game, or... I guess I he did the um, Helvetica uh, comic. Snow Drake is a semi-successful chameleon. Comedian Ice Cap is a fashion designer. Who would have thought? Gift Trot, Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. I wonder who that is. Dog Me and Dogaressa by Toby? Question mark. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Cause as Gorontorial aren't getting together, found a loving owner, and he's unaware of life's changes. I guess because I used a stick on him. And you got Onion San in there! Undyne is designed by Toby, Armor by Temmy, Fashion Health, Jay and Weedle, and Gigi. Alphys was designed by Temmy. And they kiss! And Alphys is... Aw, oh, she's defeated. <laughs> Lesser Dog and Greater Dog are in the snow. And Undyne is slapping the wall so hard it was about to crack. Aaron by Temmy, reluctantly. Still flexing. Mold Big by Tem Toby. Idyllic life on the beach. I didn't see him on the beach. Washu is a legendary janitor inspired by Omo Cat. Temmy is by Temmy, of course. Mad Dummy, calm down a little bit. Taking piano lessons again. Oh, you got Caddy and Braddy and the lion in the audience, and Temmy also. Metaton was by Toby. How about Burger Pants and uh, Shiren? Special inspiration by Bob Sparker, Sarah, and Jay and Weedle. <laughs> So it's like Metaton as a robot uh, with legs and just a rectangle. Magnolia Porter, encouraging space heater, that's Vulcan. Sunderplane finally confesses. What? I don't! Pyrope is a candle in the world's largest birthday cake, and Muffet by Michelle, spider success with a new bakery. Nice. Royal Guards, use your imagination. Hee hee hee. Final Frogget by Toby, giving life its own meaning. The long battle finally ending. Domineering Glasses Seller. Alright, astigmatism. Magic and Night Night. Oh, I'm sorry, we're full of burps. He's a street magician, and she's taking a well deserved nap. And the Amalgamates are living happily with their families. Nice. Asgore is trimming. Um, the hedges in the shape of a smile. Monster Kid is by Magnolia Porter. I wonder what Magnolia Porter did. And Toriel is by Toby. She opened her own school, which is great. <laughs> Mount Ebbet. Ebot or Ebbet? I don't know what to call it. going on. Azrael Dreamer! What are you doing here? Ha 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 ha! Did you really think it was over? <laughs> I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this. For good. Ooh, special thanks. Oh boy. The, I'm gonna get attacked! I'm gonna see how- if I can get away with not getting hit by- Oh, dang it. If I hadn't gotten hit by a single one, then I would've, um, been able to open that door. But now there's no point, so I'm just gonna open as many as I can. I wanna see how many people helped the Kickstarter stuff. <laughs> it would have been a lot to dodge. 
Ooh, I like that long name. I wonder who I'm going to see at the end. Ooh, spinning things. I wonder if it's the same people every time. Everyone in this wheel is going to be happy that I mentioned their name. I mean, not that they'll ever know. Linery. Hmm. I, it'll probably be a long time to read. I don't know if I'll actually be able to read them all. Ah, huh, there's a, someone VS. But it's just fun to get hit, I guess. <laughs> Touched credits. Okay. Jess Turner, Madeline Coville, Fujita. Oh, there's a lot of people. Hey, Fupsy, Tipsy. I didn't get to see them all. Oh well. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team, thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. And that's the end. Hmm. She brought me some pie! And I'm sleeping in a new house. Why didn't you give me the pie for for dessert at dinner or something? Or you can have pie for breakfast. I'm not going to eat it until morning. Undertale. The end. That's the end. So I guess that's the melody. <laughs> Is anything else gonna happen? I don't know. I can't do anything now. I guess that's it. Hmm. Will anything happen after the song's over? I'm not sure. But I guess that was Undertale. I'm so glad that you guys have come on this journey with me. That's what I was waiting for. Hey, annoying dog. How's it going, buddy? You're the real Toby here. What do you have to say? Did I take a long time? You just gonna stand there? Yeah. I enjoyed your game a lot, Toby. Annoying dog. Whatever you call yourself. And having played the whole thing through for myself, I can definitely sense that there's no sequel necessary. Oh, I guess now I just get out of the game then. Because there's nothing else that can happen. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It was nice. Um, I do want to try something out. There's different things to do. I'll have to reset the game, though, in order to try it out. I'm sorry, I don't want to take away everyone's happy ending, but... Um... Flowey. Hey, I'm sorry. Hi! Um, yeah, hi! Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you! 
You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. <laughs> that power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything... I... I don't think I could do it all over again. Not after that. Heh. <laughs> so, please. Just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. That saying that I'm a different entity than Frisk. Which is true, but in the game, Flowey is actually aware that I'm controlling Frisk. Let Frisk live their life. <laughs> but, if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, <laughs> you have to erase my memories too. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Nope, this is the first time I'm hearing it. Heh. <sighs> well, that's all. See you later, Toby. It remembers my last name. Yeah. Okay. Long ago. Okay. I know the story. So, yeah, I guess that's it. That's Undertale, and I am finished with my playthrough, as sad as it makes me. That was my first ever playthrough, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play it as much as I did playing it for my first time ever. I know it's hard to believe, like, all the way I've had prior knowledge of all the things that are supposed to happen in the game, but this whole victory tour where I walked all around the underground and said hi to all the characters that I could and got all that extra dialogue. That was a nice surprise for me. That was completely brand new because I haven't seen anyone record that in their videos, their playthroughs, because they just want to finish the game and be done with it. So I hope you guys have not gotten bored with all my walking and talking and showing exposition and all that. And even though I erased everyone's timeline, all their pacifist ending, it means I get to play again, and so maybe I'll do the cowardly playthrough and then it'll be like I can finally leave them where they are and le leave them with a happy ending. I'm probably not going to do a genocide playthrough because then I'd have to live with that on my conscience. <laughs> Even though it's just a game, I don't want to do that to people, those, these imaginary characters. I want them to be in a good timeline because they feel so real and I'm just rambling and rambling. Thank you guys for watching me. I'm sorry this has to be the end of the playthrough series, but now I can finally take a break and relax a bit. I'm probably going to take a break from making videos for a while, but I'm going to focus on my comic dubs from now on, maybe some parody songs that I'm going to do. Maybe I'll take a week or two off from uploading videos. Just sit tight. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching me and being a part of everything on this channel. I love you guys. Stay determined. Until next time, Bettina out.